Ghostman Horror Host here. Screen text by Ghostman Horror Host. Scene 1. Mark is stood outside an office building located in Hollywood, staring at the size of the countless floors. His heart skips a beat as he picks up the courage to enter the building. Reception. How can we help you today? Mark, I'm here to see producer Craig Atiers. I had a letter for him back in the UK about a possible part as an extra in his late newest project. Reception. Yes, Mark. He's been expecting you. By the way, I love your English accent. Mark, thank you. Where do I go? Reception. Craig is on the sixth floor. Room six. The number is... The elevator is just over there. Have a nice day. Mark, thank you. Mark proceeds to walk to the elevator or lift as he knows it and presses the level six button whilst in the process of ascending. He takes a look at a letter he sees some time ago back in his town of Holsley, Devon. Letter. Hi, Mark. Hi, Jude. I looked at your video you sent me. I like you the very like you to do a scene. Screen test for a new product. Project I have in, ti- in the pipeline. My title is yet is still in the infant stage. It's only a small part, but it, ha- it has a few lines. But as I say, for acorns a tree will grow. Yours, Craig. The elevator reaches its destination. I step down and proceed down a well-lit corridor with po- posters on the wall of various films unknown and to me. The door to the office is brown, a silver plaque with gold writing stating Craig that he is producer. I knock on the door. Craig, hey Jude, it's open, in a Californian accent. I enter. Craig is sat down. Mark. Hi, Mark. Okay, Craig. Thanks a Craig, thanks for coming over upon to do a screen test for me. Well, no problem. Craig, I'm going to film it on my iPhone and take do a few takes. And watch them back later. Then tell you let you know if you had the part. Mark, okay. Do you have some lines? Craig, sure. Mark Craig produces a script of two pages and hands it to me. Mark takes a look at it. It's a short horror story set in the United Kingdom. In an old Victorian insane asylum, Craig proceeds to set up a tripod and place his iPhone ready to film. Craig, action! Mark reads the script, looking at Craig, but sees disapproval and disappointment in his eyes. Craig, no, Jude, I need you to be a bit more creepier, with an element of weirdness. Mark s- stands up and asks if he could go to the bathroom. Craig says, OK, I have one more go. I really trying to give you a chance. Mark, yes, I know. Mark enters the bedroom, bathroom. He looks into the, mi- the light in the mirror. He begins to, to, the slow process to produce a clown's mask with green hair, pale white, green and black on the right side, and black and green on the other, bright red lids. He puts some gloves with skeleton hands imprinted on them. Mark smiles a manic smile. Craig looks in awe as Mark re-enters the room. As he's not expecting the sight in front of his eyes, Mark proceeds to throw the script to the ground. Craig starts to film to see what is going to happen. Mark's voice changes to changes his gesture and physique too. The crown figure begins to speak in a creepy British accent. My name is Ghostman Horrorhost. I have come to you, my children, on the night. I visit them in their nightmares to give them a scare. Ghostman Horrors proceeds, produces a hatch, hatchet from his suit, lunges forward, and before Craig can react, he proceeds to back, hack off his head, then dismembers his legs and arms, torso into fine pieces, sits on the floor, slowly chomping on the flesh, bloody meat. Ghostman Horrors goes over to the phone and turns it off and puts it into it and goes back to the toilet, cleans himself up and comes Mark once more down the corridor 
Into the elevator. Down the elevator. Down the lobby. That's the getting to say but goodbye. To the reception. And into a while later, a film appears on YouTube. Screen test. By Craig adheres. So far, it has six views. The end. <laughs>